In the meadow we can build a snowman, then pretend that he is Parson Brown. He'll say, are you married? We'll say, heck no, man. You crazy? But you can do the job when you're in town. Yep, tell that boy not to quit his day job. Hey guys, today is January 25th, 2013. And as that song goes, baby, it's cold outside. Let me tell you what, it was 12 degrees here this morning. Very long night trying to keep these greenhouses uh, nice and warm in there, keep the temps in the 50s, but uh, I get the job done. About 24 degrees right now, just starting to sleep. Looking for two to four inches of snow sometime this afternoon. And real quick, I want to talk about this cold frame right here and where I got started with it from. A few years ago, went to the landfill, remodeling a mobile home where somebody had moved out and they had to put a new shower in it. And it had a shower door about like this right here. Threw it up in the top of the dumpster and the old fella in the pickup beside of me, he reaches up and then grabs it. He said, that'll work. I said, what you mean? He said, I need something to put on the uh, top of my cold frame to start, start my tomato plants. And I got to thinking, man, I didn't throw away something that was valuable. So it turns out I had another one. I took this glass door, shower door, built me a two by six frame, filled it with some soil. And then I realized, well, that was kind of small. So I had to do something a little bit different, but you don't have to do it with a shower door. You got an old storm window sitting around or just a regular window, anything to build you a glass or a clear top to put on it. You could do it out of plastic. The idea is to make a mini greenhouse. One more tip for you. When you're messing with your wood stoves and a lot of wood and reaching up in those stoves, get you a pair of welding gloves. They'll withstand the heat. You don't have to worry about burning your hands so much. Plus, when it's cold like this, they come in handy too. Now this is one I had back in 2010 before I built the greenhouse. And you can see where it's kind of rotted at the bottom. I just use regular uh, pine lumber. This is a two by eight box, two foot wide, eight foot long and plenty of room to get some plants started in there. You can see I got ice on the inside. It's cold, but the soil inside is not frozen. That's what I need to get the plants going, get the seeds to germinate inside. What I did was put down some landscape fabric first and then put the box on top of it. That way I wouldn't have to worry about weeds and anytime you mess with little tiny seeds, you don't want to have to hassle with a bunch of weeds and stuff coming up through there. Where I had finished off a bunch of my tomato plants a while back, I still had the grow bags filled with the soil. So I dumped some of those in here, mixed in some compost, some more pot and soil, and got me a nice soil starting mix on the inside. This is nothing fancy, just some two by eight lumber with some plywood on the end to make a frame, like a roof frame, and then uh, put me a hinge roof on it. Very simple to do. Down inside, I've already got my labels. We're gonna do some purple kohlrabi, some uh, kale, curled mustard, round dutch cabbage, cauliflower, chard, bonanza broccoli, early jersey cabbage, and some pac-man broccoli. And what I'm doing is just make me a little trench, put my seeds in it, and real quick on putting the seeds in, very simple. I got some purple kohlrabi from, uh, looks like Media Maker 2000. I believe uh, that looks like his writing. And I just sprinkle this stuff in here. Not too worried right now about overseeding because I can come back and thin it out. Not sure about the germination on this stuff in the kind of cold soil. So I'd rather have too many seeds and not enough. Just sprinkle them in this little trench and then come back and put a little bit of soil on top of it. And I'll come back with my watering can, water it in real good, and then uh, close this lid, get everything else planted, and we'll be good to go. That's right, folks. As the snow begins to pour down here, we're looking for two to four inches here across southern Virginia from Emporia, headed over toward Franklin and Suffolk, maybe as much as six inches from the tide water up through the northern neck. The schools are closed. The grocery stores are already wiped out. The bread and milk is already gone. But thankfully, I'm prepared. I got plenty of food and water. Ain't no big deal. Y'all think I can get a job on the Weather Channel now? It's a start. But to finish up this cold frame thing, it's real simple. Anything you want to make it out of, recycle material around your place, lumber, cinder blocks, straw, whatever, put you some kind of clear cover on top of it, 
a storm door, window, glass, plastic, whatever. And if you wanted to, situation like this right here, if you build a box, you could put a heat lamp in there at night, you know, to try to keep it warm on those uh, really cold nights like we've been having here lately. Or you could get you a heavy tarp, put on top of it. This is some uh, thick roofing material. I could just drape this over the top to try to keep that warmth in there. And just make sure once the seeds start to come up that you open this thing up, get some, uh, some of the heat out during the daytime to keep it from getting too hot. Once your plants get up there, you don't want to uh, kill them with just the extreme heat because it will get hot in there just like inside of a greenhouse. Just wanted to put this out there real quick. It's getting time to uh, start seeds around the country and not everybody has a greenhouse. A lot of people don't want to mess with seeds inside the kitchen or down in the basement. They probably don't have a basement. And this is a really good way to do it. You don't have to worry about any grow lights, fluorescent lights. You don't have to worry about these plants getting all leggy. Get them started in the soil uh, in the natural process. Use the natural sunlight and you really cut down on that legginess stuff. We'll check back in about 30 days, see how well these things are doing. I'm looking for them to uh, be up and ready to transplant sometime about the third week of March. Should be pretty safe around here as far as the really cold freezing. Plants like this, your cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, they can withstand a little bit of frost so I can put them in the garden a little bit earlier than some of the other things. Hope that was helpful. Y'all take care and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.